New developments in the aftermath of Friday night's chaotic and deadly shooting during a football game at Choctaw High School. The entire ordeal was caught on camera. The, the sound gun of gunfire sent players and fans running for cover. Family members now confirm one of those bullets hit and killed 16-year-old Corday Carter, a student at Midwest City. A teenage girl was also shot but has since been released from the hospital. The third person hit by gunfire, a 42-year-old man. However, we learned today he was shot by an off-duty Dell City officer who was at the game working security. The man remains in critical condition. The reason why the officer fired his gun remains a little unclear. The sheriff only went as far as to say the officer perceived a threat. The officer is now on paid leave. Meanwhile, police still have not made any arrests and don't have a good description of the suspect. Investigators also tell us today they do not believe the public is in any danger. And security at high school sporting events is at the forefront now following Friday's shooting. District leaders met today to talk about adding or strengthening safety measures. News Force Adria Goins listened in on those discussions, and she's in our newsroom with more on what she found out here. Adria. Well, Dell City added two sets of walkthrough metal detectors at their football stadium, one on the visitor side entrance and one on the home side just a couple of days ago. But after what happened Friday at Choctaw, Dell City's police chief and many other schools say they're adding additional protections at games. There will be a notice of increased presence of officers at home football games in Dell City. Dell City's police chief saying Monday expect to see more security at home games. On top of metal detectors the district placed on campus just days ago. Heightened security, a topic discussed at the Oklahoma Secondary School Activities Association Monday. I think they do a really good job of protecting our kids. It's, it's just hard to... It's hard to stop all of it. Choctaw Nakoma Park Superintendent David Reed says after Friday's shooting, his staff is taking a closer look at security as well, telling me the district will put out a list of things they will change and implement for the next home game. They've also canceled games for this Friday. At Putnam City, the district spent more than $700,000, adding 52 metal detectors to its middle and high schools at the start of the year a decision that's already paying off, keeping a number of guns and weapons from passing through these gates. Anything from knives to, to firearms and things that have all been detected and, and have been, uh, uh, been dealt with at the time. We reached out to Garrett Metal Detectors, a Texas-based company who says thousands of schools across the country use its detectors and the demand for safety measures at schools has grown in the last 10 years. I think what we've learned over the decades is that every school does need a last line of defense where if someone tries to bring a knife or a handgun or some other weapon into the school facility, there is an excellent chance of catching that. Well, Dell City will host Booker T. Washington out of Tulsa, another school, one of three, where there was a gun brought to a football game on Friday night, guys. All right, Adria, thank you very much. A lot of tense feelings will be on Friday night lights this weekend. Also new this evening, thank you, 